Hello all, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this tutorial, we will see how to use SAP UI5 Wizard Control. So let's start by creating a new project from template. We don't need any data source for this. We'll wait for the project to get created. So our project is created. Let's try to run this project. SAP no FL. We'll start with no FLP. The project is successfully run. Let's start creating our SAP UI5 wizard. We'll go to view.xml. Let's start by creating the wizard control that is named wizard. We'll be given an ID to this wizard control and that is wizard id also let's give an event listener called complete i'll tell you further in the video what this event listener does for now we'll just give it a function on wizard completed now let's start by creating a steps in this video we will create four steps with a mix up of some validated step and some invalidated step. What does these mean? We'll see in the further video. So let's create the first step, wizard step control. We'll give this also an ID and this will be first wizard. We will give it this a title. Title is important for every step. Disclaimer. Disclaimer is the title of our first step. And then there is a property called validated, which takes value as true or false. So currently I'm giving this validated as true. We will see what it does. Let's give some content for this step. Let's write uh, kindly read the terms and conditions before proceeding b will not be liable for any funny findings okay so this is our Textual disclaimer. We don't need this. Let's make it a still closing tag. Let's see. So this is our wizard control. And this is the first step called disclaimer title. Step number one. This is this also says the same thing. Step number one, disclaimer. This is our text. We have spelling mistakes here. We will correct it. And then we have a review button, even though that we don't have any specific manual button here that we have provided, we still get a review button. So this is the final button that you get on your last step because we have only one step. So this is considered as the last step. So we see this review button. And because this validated property is true, that means this step does not need any validation. It's already complete and you can move on to the second step let's create another wizard step in which we will keep this validated property as false so i will copy paste the same thing 
change the ID, change the title, and we'll make this as false. Also, I will give another event listener called activate, which I will give a function name as second validation. Let's remove this text. And here I will create a form. To create a form, we need to import the form library that is xmlns colon form sap.ui dot layout dot form so let's use this namespace library form and it is simple form we will create a label text we will keep it as name and then you will provide a input box for which we will give an id called name id we will give a placeholder enter at least six characters we will correct this spelling mistake we also have spelling mistakes here so let's correct them okay we will give this live change event and we'll keep the same function because all these functions will do the same thing it will validate this particular step Let's give another label and input. I'll copy the same thing. Let's change the text as age. Change the ID as age ID. Placeholder would be, you should be at least 18 years old. Okay, now that we have this, let's see the outcome of this code. So you see, we have two steps. Step one, disclaimer. Step two, personal information. Step one is already validated. So we have move on to step two button. If we click this, we have gone to step two. And we don't see any button because this step is validated false. Until it is validated as true, we cannot move forward. This is how validation is controlled. So you see, in few lines of code, we were able to create this wizard control. It's so simple and easy, and it's very convenient to use. Now we have to write logic that will allow this step to be validated. So let's copy this function. We'll create this function in controller. Okay. First thing, let's get the value of name. Let's dot get view by ID, name ID, dot get value. Okay, same thing for age. Now we need to validate these two. If name dot length is greater than six and age let's make it as greater than six and age is greater than equal eighteen, then we will validate that particular step. Before that, we have to take the wizard reference as well. So I will create wizard container 
variable this would be this dot get v by id this would be id of the parent wizard control this is wizard id and now to validate the step we will have to write wizard container dot validate step inside we'll have to give this step id that is this dot get view dot by id second visit okay and same thing for else so if it is not greater than six and age is not greater than equal 18 then we will make this step as invalidate step so remember these two methods validate step and invalidate step let's try it out this is the first step we'll go to step two here the name should be greater than six digits six characters and this should be greater than 18 so if i give it as 18 this also works if i give it a 17 this will not work also if the character of name is less than six characters this will not work okay so this is how you can put logic control validations for your wizard step let's move on and create two more steps we will copy the exact step the third step also i want some form but it would be optional form we don't want any specific validation for this so we'll keep this as true and we will remove these event listeners because we don't need them okay and these form will have two input with label number one as your bio let's remove this id as well placeholder would be enter your bio and this would be weight everyone does not want to provide their weight so these are all optional values provide your weight so this is our third step oh we also have to change this id we don't want to give same id to two of the steps now let's create another one the last one i will create again with some text this would be our fourth and last wizard step first let's change the id and then we'll change the title the title will be confirmation we'll keep validated as true and the text would be congratulations on completing the form let's try this out So we have first step we go to step two we provide proper values we go to step three because this is optional we already have button to go to step four so we don't provide anything we move on to step four and then finally we have the final step where we have this review button so this is how we can create wizard with four steps you can create n number of steps now I don't, because this is the final step, we have a button called review. I don't want this button to be called as review. Instead, I want this button to be called as submit. And on click of which I should have a success message. So let's do that. 
for changing the text of the final button or submission button or completed button we will write here we will use this property finish button text and give the value as submit okay and as soon as it is submitted or this button is clicked we need to show success message this is where this event listener comes in so this complete event listener this particular function is the function that is triggered when you click on the final button so here we will add a sap.m. message box dot success and we will write it as success fully submitted array okay so let's try this out this is the first step we go to step two we fill in the proper values again we go to step three we skip this step as step four and this is the final step with the button submit on click of which we have successfully submitted hooray so friends this is how you create a wizard control with four steps you can use n number of steps you can use any logic for your validation of your individual step also i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching see you in the next video